So many people ask me why I ride without a plate and without mirrors. Actually, let me rephrase that. So many people bitch about it. And, uh, you know, let me first start by saying that, you know, I'm an adult, I can make my own decisions. So if it's not your style, that's fine. If it is, then that's great. It's up to you, man. But I'm gonna go over some of the reasons why I have it, or I'm sorry, why I don't have the, the plate and mirrors. Uh, first biggest reason being is that when you do stupid shit, I don't want people knowing my plate. I do YouTube stuff with all the footage and cameras around. I don't want my plate getting on there and it got to be too much of a pain in the ass to go into uh, my editing program and take out, or to blur out the uh, plates, you know? It just got, got annoying. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just taking off my plate. My brother doesn't ride with, with a plate or mirrors either. And uh, honestly, he's the one who turned me on to it, so. But, and then the mirrors. So I did ride with mirrors for the longest time. When I was on my Ninja 250 and R6, I had mirrors. Until I finally took them off, maybe a year, year and a half later. Um, but the thing with the mirrors is when you're on the freeway, it's just, you can't see anything. There's so many vibrations. You're trying to look behind you. I mean, they just vibrate like crazy. So it's only good till about maybe 50 miles an hour unless you have like really good mirrors that actually stabilize themselves somehow and don't vibrate like a fuck ton. Maybe some bikes are different than others. I don't know, I've just never had any luck with it. And then once you get used to not having it, not only do I like the look of my bike without them, but uh, it's also just easier to do things like lane split. That was honestly another big thing too is I was on the R6 and I went to lane split and I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna hit this guy's mirror. So I had to stop and put in my mirrors just so I could get by him. And after that, I was like, you know what, dude? Fuck these things. I was over them. But, uh... So yeah, and also, I mean, if you kind of think about it like a car, you have your mirrors in a car, right? First you look in your mirrors and then you look over your shoulder for traffic. Now, with the bike, same thing. You look in your mirror and then you look over your shoulder. But the thing is with the bike, you have so much visibility, it literally takes half a second to just look over your shoulder and to know what's behind you versus looking in a mirror. Granted, you save a little less time by looking in your mirror. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's not safer because it is, but it's not something I want to roll with. I don't like them, I find them pointless. Uh, same with the plate. If I get, oh yeah, okay, that's, <laughs> that's the big thing is people are always like, it's either like one of two responses. Either they're like some noob and they're like, wait, is it? Is it riding without plates and mirrors? Isn't that, that's like illegal, right? I mean, am I right? Or they're just like a dick about it and they're like, oh, this guy thinks he's so fucking cool. Yeah, he doesn't have mirrors and plates. He's got eyes on the back of his head. And uh, you know, <clears throat> I totally forgot what I was saying. I just got totally sidetracked. Something about the mirrors and the plate. I know that, because that's the topic of this video. Oh yeah, so the illegal aspect of it. Um, yes, it is illegal. Can you go to jail for it? Fuck no. The only thing, I've gotten pulled over a few times for it. Uh, typically my excuse is that, oh, I had a photo shoot yesterday, which half the time is true. And, uh, and I tell them like, yeah, I take off my plate and mirrors for the photo shoot. Uh, I was gonna put them back on. I just had to, to do something really quick or, you know, whatever, I'm gonna put them on tonight. And usually they'll let you go. And if they don't, then, uh, you know, then you get a $20 fix-it ticket, big whoop. Then you just go find your nearest cop and say, sign it off, or uh, actually put them back on and go to a police station, have them sign it off, and then send that shit in. There you go, 25 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever. Um, it just doesn't happen often enough to, it's not like I'm blowing 100 bucks a month on tickets, you know? It's every once in a blue moon, maybe once or twice a year. Obviously, I've been riding a lot less too, though, so that's something to, to consider. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's why I don't do it. I know Moto Moto Nocity or however the fuck you say that guy's name, Moto City. Uh, he also doesn't have mirrors. I don't know if he has a plate though. Um, but hey, it's whatever floats your boat. If you like mirrors, then ride with mirrors. If you don't, then don't. It's your decision, my friend. All right, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you later. Oh, the last little bit that I wanted to add in was that uh, I'm recording at 1080p, 80 frames per second right now. Typically, I record at 2.7K, uh, 30 frames a second. Both are in super wide view. That way, I can capture more of the bike and more imagery. Uh, 
but I feel like the minimal resolution difference, well, it's not totally minimal, but the resolution difference is less noticeable versus having it be smooth. That's the feeling I'm getting right now. So I'm kind of testing it out. I wanna, if you guys have comments on it, like what you prefer, what you think looks better, definitely let me know. I wanna be examining the footage over, you know, the next few days and kind of get an idea of which I prefer. Um, I just feel like with motion, with how much motion you have on a bike and riding just that 60 frame rate you can't you can't beat it or 80 frame rate you know just gonna make things so much smoother and less choppy anyways let me know